Hello everybody and welcome to day three of Hurricane Irma preparations. Today I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm at home and we're just trying to clean out some areas and make sure that the water does not go into the house. We have some flooding areas that we're concerned about so we're digging trenches and cleaning up the area so we don't have any any water going inside the house. There's an area where when it rains heavily it does flood this area where I'm standing right now right here and uh, it goes through here and then into the house there so we are digging the trenches and trying to get prepared as of this morning this storm looks to be nasty so I hope everybody's taking all the necessary precautions being safe getting out if you want to get out I would recommend it if you're in South Florida I hope all my friends and everybody's out I've checked in with most of them and they are out so that's good they're headed north not that Jacksonville is going to be any better because right now we're projected at hurricane 2 hurricane 1 force winds so we'll see what happens take all the necessary precautions that we need to and uh, hunker down a little bit all right what else mom it came from where along the side over there and in the front it didn't come in here? It didn't come in here. So what are we gonna do? We need to dig a trench so over there? We need, well, basically, if we just fill up sandbags. You put it against that door. Put, it, yeah, put some against this door here. Yeah, of course. Th that, and, and maybe along, right. you know, right there. And um, then we'll go over here. I think some then, over here too. We don't need any sandbags here. I think but over. We can dig the trench for the and use the dirt for the sandbags along here, so that if we do get water, it'll have a path to flow. Right. Okay. At least if 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 it gets away from the house and we've got a trench going down there, it'll go down the driveway. All right. Let's get All it, right. Let's get it done. Taking a quick little water break, but uh, we got about half the trench dug already. As you can see, probably down below here. We're trying to dig it out along that uh, line here so that the water runs from here and then goes all the way out to the street. All right, so just a little bit left to go. We gotta get under the fence and then go around here and then over there so that the uh, building doesn't flood any. And it is really hot. But as you can see, also, it's about to rain. Now this isn't anything from the storm or anything from Irma, but uh, we wanna get the trench dug before it starts raining because you never know when it's gonna stop, right? <laughs> We got the trench dug and we're ready for the water. Trench goes around here and then out to the road. All right, what next? I think we've done all we can to prepare for this storm today. And uh, now I'm gonna head out and see a few people for dinner. Oh, I gotta open the gate. I put my car back here so we can dig the trench. I usually keep it in the hole over here. Six forty-five. Uh, yeah. Birthday boy. What's going on? What's up? Good. Yeah. Let's go eat. I've been sitting out here, smelling this, smelling this food. 
So for Tim's birthday dinner, we decided to do Brazilian at his request, starting off with the salad. What do you have there, the lamb? The lamb. You gotta try the lamb. Interesting flavor. <laughs> no. Put your duck. Oh, you get to take another bite. Oh, wow. It's not that bad. Oh. Okay. Nice. Nobody ever gets the lamb. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Tim just got the lamb. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. What you wish for? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Happy birthday, Tim. For Sunday. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Oh man, dinner was awesome. That was good. That was good. Haven't done that in uh, in a while. A little Brazilian steakhouse, why not? To get me through the hurricane. And now I'm headed back home and I have to say, it is a really eerie feeling because there's not many people on the roads and I've actually seen a gas station. One of the large gas stations here in Jacksonville was actually closed. Now I guess if they don't have gas, they might as well close because there's nobody else going in there for anything else. I would have thought maybe for snacks or something. Else. Nope completely turned completely shut down so now i'm headed back home we're gonna see uh what the latest track is of this hurricane where she's headed now hopefully she shifted a little bit more west and uh and out of our way but uh latest look at the track was not good but we just got a new update so we'll see what happens now at the uh from the eight o'clock hour we'll see what happens Here's your Friday evening internet weather update on the tropics. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals, and there are active storms, three hurricanes, two of them Category 4, one of them a Category 2. So now Irma's the storm that people are talking about. The eye wall is right on the northern coast of Cuba. It's moving westward at 12. Now, the last couple of days, it was moving west-northwest. Now, it's not unusual for it to just sort of change direction a little bit. You'll note the winds 155 miles an hour, two miles difference between a Category 4 and a Category 5 in this case. But the rate that it's moving, the coast of Cuba is being impacted hard tonight. Many locations will get both sides of the eye wall, and then the rain will be pushed onshore up into the mountains where it comes down and potentially creates mudslides. Now, we don't have a lot of data in that part of the world. In Miami, you've got a northeast wind at 14. Along the north coast of Cuba, a 15 mile an hour wind heading southward. But once you get to the central part of the island, winds are about 44 miles an hour. We never truly know what the exact wind is typically, but you can estimate it, and that's what you hear so often. There are the multiple computer forecasts, all of them very consistent and taking this thing across the Florida Keys, up through northern Florida, right along the peninsula, through Georgia into Tennessee. Now that's the path for the center. It doesn't tell you anything about the wind speed. So when you talk about the wind speed, we're still looking at a category four or five, basically tonight into tomorrow, and then approaching South Florida still as a category four, likely making landfall likely on Sunday morning. And then we.